Hi there, it's Kay. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at Falco's most technical aerial approach, the short hop fast fall auto cancel bear. Normally when going for bear on block, you incur 13 frames of landing lag on impact with the ground. Even in the best case scenario with the lowest possible bear height, it's still minus eight on block and leaves you facing the wrong way. So what if we tried auto-canceling it? Bear has an auto-cancel window from frame 20 onward, so all we have to do is bear 20 frames before landing, and hey, that looks promising. Except, because Falco spends so much time falling to the ground, he ends up similarly minus on block. This is still better than the fast fall bear from earlier, since you can turn around during auto-cancel landing lag. So what if we fast fell and auto-canceled the bear? This is what we call a short hop fast fall auto-cancel bear. This timing of bear is minus 5 on block, allows you to turn around during the landing lag, and has combo follow-ups on hit at all relevant percents. There is a catch though, and it's in the execution. Short hop fast fall auto cancel bears require very strict timing. To execute a short hop fast fall auto cancel bear, be facing backwards by either walking, dashing back, or doing an IRAR. Short hop, which takes three frames. Bear on frames four to five of the jump. Fast fall on frames 17 to 18 of the jump. Hold in to turn around on landing. You will notice that the C-Stick input should be held. You can do this without, but by holding it through to the down input, the engine buffers two down inputs instead of one, making it more likely for you to get the timing right on the fast fall. The main challenge of this tech is nailing the timing of the bear. Frame 17 is the earliest you can fast fall, so it's not difficult to get the fast fall right. The bear on frame four or five is what's hard. Some people find success by setting a shoulder button to jump or by using claw grip. Personally, the time it takes for my thumb to travel between Y and the C-Stick is about how long I need for an AC bear, so that's what I learned. So what kind of follow-ups can you get off of this anyway? Doing footstool firebird out of auto cancel bear is a bit silly, but it does illustrate just how much frame advantage you have on hit. From 0 to 20%, you're between plus 12 and plus 19 on hit respectively, as well as the opponent doesn't get hit very far at all. Jab, F tilt, up tilt, down tilt, grab, down smash, and up smash all work. Against taller characters, auto cancel bear into another aerial connects. Here's some examples on Palutena. At 20 to 40 percent, you'll be around plus 20 to plus 24 on hit, but the opponent starts getting hit further away, so you'll have to adjust your execution to compensate. Bear to down tilt is the way to go until about 35 percent, after which bear to phantasm becomes viable. After 40%, the only true follow-up you'll be getting off of Bear is Phantasm. You may also consider tech chasing them if they are at high enough percent. Now this is all fine and good, but... What if you get blocked? An important fact to realize about Auto Cancel Bear is that your opponent can react to you jumping and starting the move, but you cannot react to getting the hit or getting blocked. This makes hit confirming off of auto cancel bear highly committal. You must buffer an option regardless of whether you get blocked or not. At low percent, this is easy. Bear to jab, bear to down tilt, and bear to grab will connect on the opponent whether you get blocked or not. Bear to down tilt has the biggest window of the three, allowing you to cover both outcomes until roughly 35%. You can also bear to full hop instant aerial phantasm at high percents to cross up on shield, as well as bear to reverse up tilt, or bear to short hop nair to shield poke. Past 35%, you can no longer option select your hit confirm. After this point, you must guess whether you hit them or you got blocked. 
Of all the block strings, the most powerful mix-up tools that you have on Shield is Bear to Jab and Bear to Grab. Because Auto Cancel Bear is minus 5 on block and Jab is frame 2, Bear to Jab will stuff any out of Shield options slower than frame 7. Once you've conditioned them to hold Shield, Bear to Grab is on the table. Grab will also clank with normal grabs and beat tether grabs outright. Falco can severely limit his opponent's options with these block strings. If Falco does bear to jab, the opponent has a 7 frame window to act. This will often stuff jumps, so spot dodging, rolling, parrying, or reacting with a fast out of shield option will get the opponent out of there. If Falco does bear to grab or bear to down tilt, the opponent has 11 and 13 frames to act, respectively. This means that all out of shield options will work, but shield will lose to bear to grab and reset neutral against bear to down tilt. Bear to full hop instant aerial phantasm is a slow overhead cross up that hinges upon the opponent doing a defensive option. Some grabs will also whiff, but it's dependent on spacing, character height, and grab hitboxes. I'm not sure how useful this one is yet, but it's exciting to finally have access to a Phantasm cross-up. Lastly, if you're fighting an opponent with a frame 7 out of shield option, you can only spot dodge or shield. If they have a frame 6 out of shield option, you can only shield. Characters with frame 5 or shorter out of shield options can counter hit Falco before he can set up additional pressure, so these are generally a no-go. That was a ton of info. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions about this stuff, I'll be happy to answer for you. If you liked the video, consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Stick around for some more useful info.